Subscribe Technical Babaji channel and press the bell icon to get the latest video updates. Hello friends, it's me Tariq Akhtar Ansari. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress in Go Viral web host. In future video, I will show you how you can write effective blog post and how you can earn by displaying ad on your website, on your blog. So as of now, let's see how we can install WordPress in hosting provider. So I have already logged in Go Viral and here you, you have to click on services. I have one service with Go Viral web hosting and here you can see I have advanced package I have taken from the go viral and then click on active and then log into cPanel and here you will find a lots of options but go down and find where you can install WordPress so here you can see software app installer and in that click on WordPress so by clicking over here we can stall and you can also go and other options like feature but as of now that is not important just click on stall and it will ask for few informations like choose versions you want to install as of now I am installing the latest version 5.1.1 I don't have SSL certificate so I will choose HTTP in future I will show you how you can certify SSL certificate so here I'm choosing HTTP instead of HTTPS. So here I'm choosing HTTP www dot and choose domain name. So my domain name is obab.com and here you can see in directory in which directory you want to install. So I want to install in root directory. So I'm removing WP otherwise it will be installed on WP folder. Here you can see site name my blog. I'm renaming it with my name technical babaji. and site description so here i'm going to give my site description i'm just choosing this is a programming blog in future you can change this as well and below that you can see admin account so here the admin information so here i'm giving admin username as technical baba technical just technical and password let me first hide this then I will choose my password here this is for the logging on dashboard these are the information we'll use and leave all this information as of now default don't select any of the theme we can select later on as well so just click on install button So it will take a little bit time so now you can see congratulations the software has installed successfully we'll click you can see www.obab.com and site is not secure but you can see my blog installed successfully so this is the default theme of WordPress so now I will show you how you can install different themes some are free some are paid so how you can install any theme you want so uh, now I'm going to log in my dashboard for that just slash WP hyphen admin type and it will redirect to your admin panel so here I have chosen my username as technical and whatever the password you have chosen pass here and then hit the login button Now you can see my dashboard of WordPress. From here you can manage your website, your blog, whatever you want you can manage from here even if e-commerce websites. Many theme you can install. So I'm going to the appearance then theme. Now click on add new theme. From here you can install any theme you want. You will find lots of theme available for different purposes like for business, technology, sports health for every field you will find as of now I'm going to find blog theme for my blog 
So here you can see plenty of options available. Most of are free and you will find some premium theme for that you have to pay. As of now, I'm choosing this theme. Just click on install. You can also preview this theme by clicking over the preview button. Now let's see, once your theme is installed, you can see the preview of your theme, okay, how it will look like. So here image will be okay. After the installation of your theme, you have to activate that theme. For the activations, you can activate from here as well, from the theme dashboard, from there you can also, from here also you can activate your theme. So once your theme is activated, it will be visible to the users. So you can see how it's looking like. So these are the informations you can see how you can edit. In the next video, I will show you each and everything how you can customize your theme. As of now, let's see. So you can see my theme is installed successfully. This is my theme. So as I have already told you in the next video, I will show you how you can customize this. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you like this video. So please subscribe my channel for the future videos. Thank you.